Ready? Put this under there. Go. Go. What? Yes. Good boy. Okay. Morning, you guys. It's Karen, and I thought I'd come and give you a couple of kind of hacks, if you like, or tips on how to maintain your dog's nails, um, which I imagine will be particularly useful in this time of lockdown wherever you are i'm sure there is some element of lockdown going on um the first tip or hack if you like is just for the front nails because the way that dogs walk it means that the front nails are generally the ones that are the problem um the back ones when i go to do watson's back paws i never do the outside ones they never need doing um so it's only ever the two middle uh, nails on the back paws but even then I'll often look at them and, I, and don't do them I'll do them like every two times or every three times so this first one works for the front paws all you need is a piece of sandpaper um, this occurred to me because I've taught Watson to wipe his feet and the way that you do that is you you can use the corner of a rug you can use the corner of a doormat and you basically get them standing on the rug or doormat facing the corner you show them a treat a good high value tree and then you put it under the corner and they will their natural instinct is to scratch for that tree um, so what you do is you do that and then you do that a few times over a few days and then you start giving it a name and you start putting the tree underneath and saying to them wipe your feet and then that's their command for that trick if you like um, so that's what made me think of this and I thought you could do exactly the same same thing you don't have to give it the command wipe your feet you can just use this put it on the floor anywhere put a little treat underneath it it probably needs to be a high value treat unless you have a Labrador who is keen to get to any food you have including his kibble but I would use some kind of high value treat put it underneath and then show them that you're putting it underneath have them facing you quickly put it on the floor and they will scratch this now I have done a demo video for this in the demo video you'll see I'm saying to Watson wipe your feet and obviously you don't need to do do that that's just an extra part because I'd already taught him that I was saying wipe your feet so that he would wipe his feet and show you guys how it works but you you don't need to say that you don't need that to be any part of this you just put the treat underneath and they will scratch their paws on it but if you want to phase out the treats then you can give it a command but don't do it too quickly you know wait until you've done it for a couple of days in a row and they have repeatedly scratched that and then you can start saying wipe your feet do that for a couple of days and then you should get to a point where you can just put this on the floor and say wipe your feet and they will scratch it and then you can do that a couple of times and then give them a treat if, if that makes sense you know so that you reduce the number of treats you're giving to them this one is not going to take your dog's nails from long to short in one sitting so if they are you know curling over then you need to get somebody to help you clip them um, and I'm sure if you spoke to a vet they would do it I know that people um people I've been speaking to have got the vet to cut nails that have been a problem so if they're curling round or anything yet yeah, this is not going to work for you but this will help you to maintain them it will reduce them if you do it over a couple of days and it's just it's a fun way and it's a great way for dogs that do not enjoy having their nails clipped so I'll put the clip in now of me doing this with Watson and then we'll come back and talk about how to do the back ones or another method wipe your feet yes go go wipe your feet Yes. And again. Wipe your feet. And this one. This one. This one. This is a good one. <laughs> what about if I put it that way? How can I get you to do that left one? Oh, it's your right one anyway, isn't it? Good boy. This one. Wipe your feet. <laughs> Ready? Put this under there. Go. Go. Wait. Go. Go. Wait. Go. Whoops. <laughs> Go. Clever boy. Wait, wait, we head up, good boy. Okay, go. That's a good boy. 
the other method for dogs that don't like their nails being clipped which you know to be honest is most dogs but if I can tell you anything about clipping your dog's nails if you have nail clippers and you want to do it is that you have to be very very confident um, I know that when I before I trained to be a groomer I attempted to cut Watson's nails and I just found the whole experience awful um, then when I started grooming I was it was still one of the areas I was very very anxious about because you can cut them and they can bleed you know if you cut too far down um, but once you start feeling if you confidently grab a hold of their paw and you know in your head that you're not going to cut too much off like don't go more than the guard on the clippers then you should be okay but if you're in any way anxious about it I would just say leave it because you being anxious will cause the dog to be anxious if you're not doing it in a sort of confident professional way it could go wrong and although you can't cause a serious injury with them if you catch the quick and they bleed it can cause them mental problems with having that done again you know that will make it really really hard to ever get their nails clipped again um, if that makes sense so I would say if if you're not confident then do one of these methods um, so the second method for dogs that, that do not like having the nails clipped is to use one of these now they might not like this because of the noise but the clippers is something that they don't like the noise of the nails being clipped you know that, that dogs that are noise sensitive and this isn't super quiet I haven't found one that's super quiet I don't know if one exists because the very you know nature of it means that it will have a bit of sound but the way that you would get them used to this is and the way that I got Watson used to this is literally you take it out when you get it and you're not going to be able to use this on them for a good week maybe even two weeks if you want to really slowly acclimatize them to it take it out take it towards them have a treat in one hand switch it on and give them a treat and then switch it off and walk away and leave it do that a couple of times a day and then what you can do is move on to switching it on and putting a little treat on here and take it up to them and they have to take the treat from it and so they'll feel the vibration and what you're doing is you're just trying starting to associate this with good things oh every time I hear that noise I get a treat um, and you know getting closer and closer and then what you would do once they were taking a treat happily from there is you would switch it on keep the treat in your hand put it against their paw and then give them a treat and walk away and so you just do it in sl slowly so Watson is absolutely fine with this but this tip um, using this this is a bag of tangerines or was a bag of tangerines you could use something like a hair net that would probably work as well and this is for people that like myself have a long-haired dog and you want to get to their nails um, so you could probably you don't need to use that with this but you can use this with clipping their nails or with using a nail grinder and so it just means you put it over their nails and it takes all of the hair out of the way because the fur will actually blunt clippers it's not very good to to get that in and also it'll just get in your way and this will just gives you that extra level of confidence because you can clearly see the nails um, and then you can go in and use your grinder and so again when you first use it on a dog on their actual nails I would literally just you know you've done all of your acclimatization I would just go in and go like that give them a treat and walk away and then go back later that day do that give them a treat walk away and then gradually build up to whereby um, at that point they should be starting to think this is a good thing um, this I'm pretty sure they won't be bothered about so I'll put the video in just now of me using this with this and show you how I get okay, on you can see my goat is sleeping here so I'm just going to show you what you do all you do is slip this over their foot and then if you just push their toenails through it you'll be able to see them much easier um, and like I said on the back the back one there really isn't you really only need to do the, the middle two if at all so let me get you closer in can you see there you can see the two little toenails much easier it's kind of got the hair out of the way um, you can also use this on the dew claw so I can just put this on his whole foot like that and then on the dew claw find the dew claw and it will just poke through it's probably the most useful on that one actually um, let's see if you can see it you see that there hopefully you can see that that dew claw is then sticking out and very easily recognizable and actually you can see there as well with his little toes the two nails the, the corner ones are there the ones on the outside are there but they're just not long enough to need anything doing to them so um, I can grab the filer 
Eilish Jigsaw. I found these. And you can see he is not bothered at all. One other thing that you can do whilst you're sort of training on this um, is to walk them, walk the dog on pavements. You know, if you just say, right, okay, today's walk is going to be totally on a pavement, which probably means they're going to have to stay on lead. But you know, that's that's not a problem for too many dogs. I would definitely do that for Watson. You know, one walk and then the other walk he would be off lead. Um, and walking on pavements is something else that helps the nails stay short and something you can do whilst practicing this you know every day um something else to mention is that this one i'm showing you is not the lowest grit you can get this is 120 um but i would say go for one that's about 80 that would be even better i will link some for you um and i'll link this one as well this is the one that i bought from amazon um, so i'll link some for you but yeah the the grittier the better that's everything let me know how you get on if you use either of these techniques let me know if you've got any problems at all with grooming and i will do my best to help you i've got lots of videos on here that might be useful um but yeah feel free to leave leave a comment for me and i'll do my best to help you out um don't forget the dew claws when you're doing your grinding your clipping whatever you're doing don't forget the dew claws because they can keep their nails that they walk on down to a certain extent um, but not the dew claw that's the one that definitely does need clipping it does need grinding it needs something because it can curl and and dig right into their pad which is very very painful for them um, most dogs just have their dew claws on the front claws but i i have never seen one but i'm told that some dogs have dew claws at the back as well um, so just so you're aware of that so um, yeah make sure you don't forget the dew claws that's everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you the best of luck and I'll speak to you again soon.